Doctor, I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. I don't have all day, Lieutenant. I won't mince words, my lord. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. The Republic cannot be tolerated. I agree, my lord. It is my dream to see our enemy vanquished. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Kar's Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Of course. I remember everything. Good. I'll get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. I'll handle anything that dares to get in my way. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate. You're good to go. My lord, I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. But first, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander Rylon. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermoth. He is Ryland's son, and the commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign Dermot must be silenced permanently. Rylon was foolish to tell his son. The one chink in his otherwise flawless armor. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater outpost, awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has been tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be heading there. I assume you wish to get to Dermat before she does. What can you tell me about the mysterious agent? She appears to be investigating one of the Republic's own, a Commander Rylorn. I'm instructed to keep close tabs, but stay out of her way. 
I've managed to slice the security you'll need to breach the crater outpost. Transmitting it now. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. Pipe down, Dermat. There's something going on outside. I'm trying to listen. Oh, come on, Six. Throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will you? Fine, fine. Stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing! Mm. What? Oh. All right, all right, I ain't proud, I give. My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? Yes, please repeat that, Junior. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. He's going to need a new pair of pants. Who cares what Dermot needs? You gave me enough time to get what I need. Ugh. I have a very bad feeling about this. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. You're about to see what two squads of the Republic's deadest look like. Come on, men. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. Zix? Zix? Come on, talk to me, Zix. Get up, man. Look at me, Ensign Dermot. But if I don't look, then... Maybe you're not really here. And oh, Last I looked. Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic. The Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. Let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm... I'm a rock. You must think I'm an idiot. Fine, fine. You're, you're an idiot. If it'll save me, I'll, I'll think whatever you want me to. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may, maybe the apple fell off the tree. I, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that, but please, please don't kill me. I'm willing to consider alternatives. Is there another solution? Hold on. Hold, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just had a thought pop into my head. Just quick, before it pops out. My assignment here was in the medical lab. Moving supplies and, and making deliveries. And the docs there were working on something really cool. It, it was a drug that was supposed to create temporary amnesia, but it wiped the mind totally clean. The test subjects didn't even know their own names. Sounds pretty far-fetched to me. I swear it's true. They tested and tweaked and tested and tweaked, but all it ever did was completely wipe the mind. You, you, you could break into the lab and, and bring back the drug. Uh, I'll overdose and, and not know nothing no more. That way my dad's secret identity's safe. You'll be getting a second chance at life. I've never had a second chance before. The med lab's in the back building. The head doc kept a small supply of the drug in his footlocker. I'll, I'll wait right here. I have a choice.
see, and then there was a time I almost shot myself in the foot. That was a close one. What else? Oh, you're back. I was just recalling my life, trying to remember the highlights since I'm about to have my memory wiped clean. I think I'm done. Not much to reflect on. So, did you get the drug? I'm actually looking forward to starting over. Just shut up and take the drug. All right. All right, sorry. Just a little nervous, you know. Here goes nothing, I guess. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. Is, is dumb a game? Can you teach me how to play? I leave you to figure that out yourself. Enjoy your new life. I think I'm supposed to say thank you? Wow. Too bad there isn't more of that drug. I got a few memories I could let go of. Should I take that personally, Yvette? Of course not. I'll never be able to forget you. Let's move on, shall we? I must be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. If anything, you should overestimate my capabilities. If you don't mind, I am going to attempt to be as accurate as possible. Lord Varus is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. Don't wander off. I'll be right here if needed, my lord. I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. Wait a minute. Let me pinch myself. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. That is my speciality. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. The man is a hero. Pity he has to die. He has always known the risk. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. An apprentice's work is never done. Be glad of that. When I stop giving you work, you should be worried. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the Arms Factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. Just spit out the details, Imperial. Try to contain yourself. Yes, my lord. I will not stray from the facts again. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the Arms Factory the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rylon, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. The tougher, the better. 
Stationed inside are an estimated 1,000 of the Republic's best trained soldiers. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. I feed them already. I'll feed off that. The Empire's cause here on Balmora will be greatly advanced once they're gone. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran arms factory is a smoking husk, my lord. The factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. First, I'm going to kill your men, then you, Rylon. Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. Am I supposed to turn tail and run now? My men and I would be disappointed if you did. Captain Elgin, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. <sighs> I may die of boredom. We're not gonna let boredom steal our kill. Enough talk, Captain. I can smell your fear. Now taste death. Men, attack! should have been here by now. Your commander is an Imperial spy. You lie. Please. It can't be. Must you rub it in, Sith? Would you like me to rub it in? Tell me what the Sith says isn't true. I'm sorry, Captain Elgin. All these years, I've been a loyal soldier of the Empire. No. I... I can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. Why didn't you convert them to our cause? I followed Barris's orders to the letter. Recruitment was never my purpose here. I serve for the glory of the Empire. But the life of a spy is a slippery one. In essence, I had to become a Republic soldier. And I've done things against the Empire that have sickened me. But for the greater good, Commander. I have lived believing, hoping that was the case, my friend. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me. But I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I'm honored to be the one to kill you. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? He whimpered like a craven coward. I see. You've crushed my spirit. Now the death of my body is a formality. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. Maybe I'll break a sweat. Then arm yourself. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him.
My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rygorn. What from my conversation makes you think we have trouble? I told you that I've had the Jedi Investigator surveilled and that she's been snooping around the arms factory. Apparently, she bugged Rylorn's quarters. And as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. Where is she now? She was heading to her ship. But I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape. Herding that Republic scum to her only hope. A spaceport at Sobrick. I will be there soon. I'm afraid there's more, my lord. My men who engaged her report that she's wielding a lightsaber. It seems this investigator is a Jedi Knight. I advise caution when facing her. Killing Jedi is old hat for me. Then my concern is unfounded. My apologies. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. Not too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Carr has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. Mark my words, they will be hunted every step of the way. You fight for a losing cause, Sith. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. Unlike me, you're about to be dead. If you persist in this aggression, I shall be forced to strike you down. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. Save your breath, Jedi. You're going to need it. Attack me and I will kill you. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. You just earned your pay, Lieutenant. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Carr's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. I'm not going to object if you want to die. There is no death. There is the Force. How bizarre. She just closed her eyes and accepted death. Sheer idiocy. No matter. The threat is ended. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I'm anxious to get off this planet. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. Not my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. 
I assume the Jedi investigator has been stopped. I handled it. Your doubts and worries are becoming intolerable. Considering recent developments, yes, I had much concern. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Lieutenant Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. High praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. Thank you for noticing, Quinn. Until we meet again, I salute you, my Lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. Can we get on with our business? You are quite right, Apprentice. Quinn's fate is of small consequence compared to our affairs. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? Domination and destruction are my favorite pastimes. It's nice to enjoy what you're good at. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. I will always welcome you, Quinn. It pleases me to know that, my lord. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Welcome back to life, Quinn. That is how it feels, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. An intriguing idea, Quinn. Yeah, I'm so intrigued, I could yawn. Please, not now, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. All right, I'll find something for you to do. An opportunity is all I ask. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. Apprentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. I'm primed for the next bloodbath. I weep for anyone who gets in your way. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. I want to make quick work of this place. Then you must remain focused. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. 
But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Tell me his name so I know what to put on his epitaph. Agent Delicon's new benefactor is a young Sith Lord named Rothari, an upstart who openly disrespects my methods. Rothari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for, and kill Agent Delicon. Sounds like my kind of fun. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. <laughs>